currently work in the retail space, but yearn for a job in cybersecurity, but not really sure how to do it or what the best way to go about it, stay tuned because in this video, we are going to be speaking with Mia Kralowitz, who pivoted from retail into cybersecurity. She's going to be sharing with us why she made the decision to make the move, the challenges that she faced in making the move, what skills she had from retail that transferred directly into cybersecurity, and the lessons learned that she has so you don't have to make the mistakes she did. You can have the optimal path. You can get into cybersecurity. Let's go talk to Mia. Hi, Mia. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for being with us. So, Mia, tell me, why did you want to move from retail into cybersecurity? So, it's a couple big things. One was I was very tired of working every night and weekend and missing the holidays with my family. And I knew that long term it would decrease in security. Uh, the other big thing was that uh, there were times that I would get sick. And if you get sick in retail, it's a major hassle to try to get time off. People don't believe you. You have a cough. You have to get a doctor's note. I was tired of living like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't even consider the, the holidays and weekends, but that really is the prime time uh, for that. So making the decision to move into cyber, what were some challenges that you faced? I'd say the major challenges were one, when I would have conversations with people, uh, they would question how technical I was. Uh, so that that was a major barrier. Uh, the other part was just having confidence in myself and knowing mm -hmm. that, yes, I don't have a traditional path, but that doesn't mean that I'm not as effective as everyone else. So as far as those technical skills went, how, how did you get those skills or how did you develop those skills? Yeah, so part of it I just kind of had innately. I went to a B-Sides conference in town and I went on a whim. A friend of a friend said, hey, you should just go to this anyway. And I said, but I don't know anything. They're like, mm -hmm. just go and you'll figure it out. So while I was there, I had someone stop me and say, hey, we heard that you're trying to get in. I found out from someone else. What do you know technically? And I told them, I was like, I don't think I know anything, which is not a very good answer. But what they did tell me right away is they said, we've heard stories of you fixing registers. We had heard stories of you taking apart a PlayStation, putting it back together. It's a true story I did because my husband's PlayStation broke. I took it apart, cleaned the motherboard, put it back together. They're like, that's technical. Nicole, those are the stories you need to tell. Absolutely. So having worked in retail, what type of transferable skills did you find had immediate value in cybersecurity? Everything around ORC. So in retail, especially if you're a major retailer, you get hit with what's called organized retail crime. So you have groups of people who come into your store. They are very systemic in their approach and they will try to steal sometimes new merchandise. Sometimes it's the older sales stuff, but they have a very organized plan that they will commit to. So what we do to combat that, they always tell you, give them good customer service, which is true. But what will help you a ton is if you can start to identify pattern. So if you notice that someone seems to be coming in Thursday nights at eight o'clock, and then all of a sudden I'm missing a stack, or all of a sudden Saturdays at 10, I notice a random bag on my sales floor. Those are things that you start to keep an eye out for and it really transfers over to sock work because you're still trying to analyze a pattern. You're still trying to figure out how did this person try to attempt to get into our system or how did they get in? What is their methodology? All of that still transfers over. So I found myself my first year in cyber uh, really leaning on a lot of those skills that I got from dealing with organized retail crime. That is very interesting kind of, you know, thread out Actors are going to threat act, right? And and you know, you different clothes, different different shape, size, or whatever, but still the same behaviors and patterns. I, I love that, Mia. What type of lessons learned do you have that you could share with someone who's in retail right now, watching this and saying, you know what, cyber is what I want to do? What would you go back and tell Mia on day one? I would tell Mia to to study. Everyone starts somewhere. No one is an expert on everything, and I think I had this misconception that everyone who was in this field knew everything. About about everything when it came to a computer or networking or the legal side. And you had to be this know-it-all for all things to be able to be effective. And then once you get in, you realize that people are very specialized. And yes, they may have a good baseline knowledge in another area, but there is still that general baseline that you can attain really quickly. So still study. I remember being on lunch breaks and honestly being bored and trying to find ways to keep my mind active because once you figure out a system in retail, it basically runs itself. 
and so I was trying to read books about Linux in the back. I was trying to, I actually had a calculus workbook that I was doing for fun and I was just trying to find ways to stay active. Yeah. I would have oh, yeah. told myself to really dive deep into that a lot more than I did and not to be ashamed if someone made a comment like, why are you being nerdy and studying? It was like, no, this is what's going to keep me fulfilled. I love it. Yeah, be true to yourself and, and constant constant work. That is a, a staple of cybersecurity work, of a cybersecurity career lifestyle is always staying, you know, up to date on what's going on and, and, and learning about different techniques. As you mentioned, nobody knows everything and there's a lot of specialization, but there's a lot of opportunity to gain new knowledge. Mia, before we close out, I'm curious, how important was networking in your success in your cybersecurity career today? Absolutely crucial. You need to do it. I would even go as far as to say you have to do it. Um, when I was first looking at getting out of retail, I had taken like a part-time position with a healthcare provider to be able to work on a tech-based product, but I was pretty much a, they considered us a phone operator, although we were health coaches. The reason why I had decided to do that was because I figured it was a step towards tech. Um, as I started to get into that role, that allowed me to meet more security professionals and to ask them more questions. I got my start because I reached out to multiple people on that security team and asked them, what do I need to learn? So it was, what can I do? What do I need to learn? I had a guy who was a tier one SOC analyst who taught me everything he knew and was like, here's this one thing. Here's the next concept. Here's the next concept. Let's practice together. I wound up meeting with the SOC manager sent me an absolute long list of all of these things that I could learn and said, hey, I'm not sure where we would start you because you don't know what normal patterns are, but here's a bunch of stuff you can learn in the meantime. And then there was a woman who uh, was the director of information security. I talked to her once and she said, let's set up a meeting. I'll be very honest with you. I was very scared <laughs> going into that conversation with her. And after we talked for 10 minutes, she was like, hey, let's take five minutes and talk about different paths and security, see what you are interested in. And I'm going to go to the CISO and see what we can do. And so I got my first role because she went to the CISO and explained how much work I'd been doing on my own and asked him to give me a chance. That's how I got started. So that would not have happened without networking. My goodness, that is awesome, Mia. Like I'm super pumped, super happy for you and for your story. That is a fantastic one. And one thing that may get lost in the noise here for a second, but I think it's really important is that yes, Mia network and Mia met all these individuals and it ultimately led, but she put the work in. They gave her things to research, work to do, and that's where the commitment and the vigilance and the persistence really comes out. And obviously, Mia, you demonstrated that you're hardworking, you took initiative, and I think that in part also complemented your ability to be identified as a success and as a contributing member of what, what would become uh, your career. So definitely, definitely want to point that out, uh, but fantastic fantastic yeah, stuff yeah it was awesome they when they asked me to learn python they gave everyone a book most of the guys wrote scripts i wrote my own version of nmap and from start to finish and figured out how i could have additional scripts feeding into nmap it was a beast of a project to take on not knowing how python worked i learned more about the socket library than i ever want to know but <laughs> it was a great way to be able to demonstrate like hey if you're gonna give me a fishing rod. I'm not just going to catch a fish. I'm going to try to come back and feed the whole village, so to speak. And I think always doing things, especially at the beginning to the maximum that you can think of and dreaming big really will help you establish yourself. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a, that's a boss move. <laughs> <laughs> well done. And I just want to point out if you are looking for ways to network, as we've pointed out how valuable it can be, the Simply Cyber Discord server is a great opportunity to connect with like-minded professionals who are either trying to break into cybersecurity or are already in the cybersecurity industry. I'll drop a link below for uh, you to connect onto the Simply Cyber Discord server. Mia, thank you so much for telling your story and sharing your vision with those people, especially in retail, looking to pivot into the industry. Absolutely. Absolutely.